over the course of this workshop, we're going to be focusing on variable air volume systems and specifically the air terminal units, which are zone controllers or controls frequently used in medium and large commercial buildings. Um, we use them in schools, hospitals, um, skyscrapers, office buildings, you name it. They very frequently use uh, some sort of VAV type technology. And the reason we're focusing on that for this workshop is because it's a very compact and affordable, but complicated system. Um, you don't run into systems this complicated um, until you get into, typically until you get into large pieces of equipment like air handlers or boiler or chiller plants. So the fact that we can do this whole project and learn so much on, you know, about a thousand dollars worth of materials is really kind of um, exciting. So that's why we are focusing on these systems. What you're going to need in place, hopefully you already have your um, VAV air terminal with reheat, hopefully. Um, you'll need air supply for that unit, power as required, and a heat source as required. If you've got uh, electric heat strips, that's great. If you've got a hot water coil, that's great too. We've got systems and set up for all of that. So from a control standpoint, you're going to need some sort of system controller. Um, typically speaking, they do make specific VAV controllers for these applications. Um, and the major difference with those is they typically have a built-in pre differential pressure sensor. Um, you will need a discharge air temperature sensor installed downstream of your control damper and reheat coil. Um, in the field, we try and install these about six to eight feet down the ductwork. In our labs, that may or may not be practical for you. As long as it's downstream somewhere, you're probably good. You'll need a zone temperature sensor, preferably with a set point adjust and push button override for uh, unoccupied uh, override. Some sort of damper actuator appropriate to your system and heat source controls. If you're running electricity or electric reheats, that's probably gonna be relays. If you're running hot water valve, it's probably gonna be an actuator. If you've got a variable electrical system, it may be an, uh, an SCR type control that you're gonna send a um, zero to five volt, zero to 10 volt control signal. to. 